Hello everyone and welcome back to Canna World, a place where we explore more new things together. Features here with you guys today, we're going to be discussing a subject that should be the primary concern of any business, which makes today's video extremely important, welding safety. Before buying a welding machine, especially before using it for the first time, verify whether your garage or shop can take the electrical current required by the machine. To protect people from potential risks, welding includes several safety actions. I will be discussing some key safety factors for welding. One is personal protective equipment, which includes welding helmet, goggles or safety glasses, clothing resistant to flames, welding gloves, steel toe boot. Number two is ventilation. Make sure you have enough ventilation to manage the gases and the fumes produced while welding. To decrease the chance of breathing in dangerous materials, use ventilation system or operate in well-ventilated spaces. Three, welding area safety. To avoid trips and falls, keep the workplace tidy and orderly. To prevent tripping hazards, clearly mark and secure welding wires. And to shield surrounding employees from UV rays and sparks, use screens or barriers. 4. Fire prevention. Make sure all staff members are educated in the usage of firefighting supplies and keep them easily accessible. Keep anything explosive out of the work area. Build a specific workplace and provide it with the necessary fire safety equipment. Number 5. Training and certifications. Verify that welders have received the correct education and certifications for the particular kind of welding that they're doing. Regular safety training should be given to reinforce proper methods and awareness. So number six, electrical safety. Check welding equipments often for loose connections and broken wires. Electrical safety can be achieved by using ground fault circuit interpreters. Do not place wires or welding machines near water or surfaces that are wet and check that the proper voltage is used. Now number seven, safe handling of gas cylinders. Gas cylinders should be kept upright and stored safely. Use the proper connection and regulator for the gas type. Label cylinders with the relevant hazard symbols and the content. Gas cylinders should not be near a flammable object. Number eight, noise protection. To avoid hearing damage when welding in noisy areas, wear ear protection. Number nine, safe work practices. Follow the rules and processes for established welding. Avoid welding in small areas without enough ventilation and safety measures. Recognize the materials being welded as well as any potential risks. Number 10, emergency preparedness. Keep a first aid kit on hand. Identify emergency methods and guarantee that every employee is educated about them. Please do that. Recognize the locations of the emergency equipment and exits because it will really be needy. And number 11, regular equipment maintenance. To guarantee current operation and safety, do routine maintenance and inspections on welding equipment. So by following the safety guidelines, the chances of accident injuries decreases and a secure welding environment is created. For information on the precise requirements in your area, always prefer a local safety laws and recommendations. For the most recent information on welding safety, requirements, visit the websites of the Canadian government and the CSA standards. So thank you for being with me today and if you have any questions leave us a comment and I'll get back to you with an answer. Check our website here at the bottom for our amazing products and see you later.